God morning allihopa, I'm Alexandra, welcome to my channel and to this video. Sorry about the background noise, I am making breakfast while I'm doing this intro. I actually started the vi a video yesterday and then the morning just kind of deteriorated into, uh, I don't know, it was just not a good morning and so I didn't feel like continuing with that video. So yeah, we will make another try today. Today, today. I am not Australian. Today we are, uh, or we did get up a bit earlier than we have the past few days. Today is Miranda's third day at preschool. So far she's doing, or she, so far everything is going really well. She loves it there. Both inside and outside she's been just happy-go-lucky. She doesn't really um, care if I leave, I mean I haven't left left, but if I like go to another room or stuff like that she even like left the room where i was and didn't come back for several minutes so she seems to be pretty um like confident and not worried uh in that way so that's good and today we're gonna be there for a bit longer than we have before so today the plan is that we're gonna um stay for lunch which we did yesterday and then try and have a nap there and the typical thing is the kids don't fall asleep at preschool when their parents are there because it's just not the situation that they're used to so i'm not expecting her to fall asleep but if she does that's gonna like that's awesome um but yeah so either if she falls asleep we will be there until she wakes up and then we'll pick Theo up and go home um and if she doesn't fall asleep oh, i guess we'll leave after a little bit so yeah that's the plan for the start of the day um, and then in the evening, I'm so excited, in the evening Ginny and I are starting a puppy class, I guess you would call it, um, like a dog, dog class, dog course thing for puppies and uh, I've been looking forward to it. I mean I've been looking for one that would suit us for a while and then I found one just last week and I was like okay we'll go with it even though it starts today. So I haven't really prepared anything but in my experience you don't really need to the only thing i've done is i have taken uh, some meatballs out of the freezer because i'm gonna cut them up in small pieces and have them as as uh, her treats for the class because typically like just the normal treats uh don't really cut it in a situation like that so yeah that's that's what i'm most excited for today come on room. you want to say hi to the vlog i had to wake up all kids today because i woke up before all of them the cafe. Look. Can you say good morning? Good morning. <laughs> I'm just making some smoothies. Papa. Papa. Ah. Papa. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going with these smoothies so that we don't get all rushed at the end of the morning before we leave for school because that's what's been happening so far and it's not been a good thing it's not been fun at all to have to rush everyone and Tyrion has actually been late for school both yesterday and the day before and that has never happened before so we're definitely breaking that streak today and we're gonna start getting dressed like 15 or 20 minutes earlier than we have been because obviously the time that I like a lot for it is not enough and the snow is not making it any better. Any better. Yesterday we got stuck in the snow uh, with a stroller right as we got outside and I had to tell Tyrion to go to school on his own basically, which he hasn't done before. And I was super worried and crying <laughs> at home because I was worried that he was gonna run over by a car and everything was fine, but I don't want to go through that again. So today I am leaving earlier. Uh, with like the plan to take the sled right away instead of trying the stroller. I don't think it's like, there's no point and that's obviously gonna take longer. So yeah, we've got lots of time for everything, hopefully.
fine. Nothing to worry about. I only had to like re re put it on there several times and shake it up and stuff because it kept getting stuck. But we're fine now. Good, good. Okay, let's have some breakfast. Jag har en sån här. Först trodde jag att han fick en sån, men sen trodde jag att du sa att han fick en robot. Nej, stort sådär. Jag har en sån här, fast mycket tunnare och mycket längre. Det är precis likadant som det där. Va? Ja, det är precis likadant. Jag köpte fyra stycken exakt. Men det är tio tur. Pappa kommer gå på jobbet. Men Theo, vi vet det. Hon vill ändå säga. So, complete honesty, I am stressing and rushing a bit, but we're not really in a hurry, yet. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, but for now, the kids are dressed, I'm almost done with my breakfast. The kids have eaten their breakfast and brushed their teeth. Um, Jeannie's in her crate because she's just impossible when we're having any meal, really. She just kind of climbs on the chairs and on us and tries to steal food from the kids and everything so we have tried putting her in another room and she's really sad and we do want her to be with us and so now we're trying to have her in the cage or crate or whatever um and as you can hear i mean she was fine when we were eating and then one of the kids went to the crate and wanted to open the door and she went crazy so right now i'm kind of waiting for her to calm down but I think me talking is not making it any better. So we're gonna keep working on this and getting everything ready at the same time. Okay, the real moment of truth now. We are gonna get dressed. And I'm gonna film it mostly just to be able to see myself how long it takes. Because I think that this is the, the main thing that I just keep expecting to not take as long as it actually does. And then we end up being late. So yeah, let's get started. And let's see how long it takes. Miron, ska jag hjälpa dig? that took just about 10 minutes and it went pretty smoothly today so I should probably count on it taking a few more minutes normally but yeah that's good now Jeannie's gonna get her food so that she is occupied when we leave and we're gonna go and I always put one of my sweaters down on the floor so she can lay on it if she wants to and we'll keep the light on I think Come okay. now we're ready to go success we have now left Tyrion at the point in the like uh, the way to school where there are no more roads he has to cross so he can take the last bit on his own and we're on time he's got like 20 minutes until he needs to be at school and I would be surprised if he didn't like manage to do that so I told him um, just don't like walk super slowly walk in a proper pace and you'll make it in time so really hoping that that is actually what's gonna happen oh that's much better the sled is so freaking noisy when we're uh, going on this like kind of on the ice where they've taken the snow away but in the snow it's much more peaceful and Miranda wants to walk so she's gonna get to walk for a bit because we're not in any hurry now now we're gonna go back home and actually get undressed again which is like painful when I know that we're gonna have to get dressed again just a little bit later so I'm thinking maybe 
we'll just play outside until it's time to go to preschool only i want to put some makeup on <laughs> so silly but i really want to so maybe i'll like let them be outside and play and i'll just put my makeup on right at the window so i can watch them we'll see oh you don't want to go either that's fine with me that's much easier for me <laughs> and he wants to pull it too no mommy doesn't have to do anything that's that worked out pretty awesomely <laughs> just gonna take ages <laughs> things worked out perfectly the kids want to play outside in the backyard that way I don't have to undress and redress them and I can put my makeup on without worrying about them like being run over by a car or like walking away which is what Miranda likes to do because this is very much enclosed especially now that we have a puppy there is no getting out well unless they climb but I think that would be tricky in like these outdoor clothes anyway. <laughs> Can't you get anywhere? Oh, that's frustrating. That's frustrating. Sorry, girly. Many hours later. We're back home and Miranda's third day at preschool went really well. She actually did fall asleep. Um, I don't know if I talked about it before, but usually, or a lot of the time, kids don't fall asleep the first few times that they are at preschool and they're supposed to go to sleep. She was definitely fighting it, but eventually fell asleep and slept for maybe an hour, a little less. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> Your brother's gonna be real mad. Um, but yeah, Theo's watching some TV, Miranda's obviously playing with her big brother's things. I'm just sitting here resting for a bit and then I'm gonna try and get some studying done before I leave for the, the dog course, the puppy course. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. Also, I'm waiting for a package, I don't know if it's arrived yet, but I'm waiting for a package with um, winter boots because apparently for some explicable reason I have thrown mine out or lost them um, the only thing is I mean I could have lost them but I have some kind of faint memory that I thought that I wouldn't need them anymore or that I had like replaced them with new shoes but the shoes that I have now they're just not warm enough when it's really cold so I ordered a bunch yesterday and they're already arriving today which is amazing um, and hopefully one of them uh, one of the pairs of uh, boots slash shoes will be awesome and I'll send the rest back I'm not buying four pairs of winter boots slash shoes but yeah so we'll see
she keeps putting the headphones in the headphones ah! in here. And that means that Tyrion can't, or Theo can't see the TV, so we're not going to do that anymore. But I can tell the uh. Miran? Ay, ay. Nay, nay. Nay. It's evening now. It's like 8 p.m. And uh, I just came home from the dog chorus and it was so much fun i kind of forgot how at home i feel and how much fun it is to just be around dog people <laughs> and, and like be training dogs as well at the same time um it was really really fun and i can't wait for next time i'm probably gonna go every other week so we have two weeks to work on the things that we kind of had as homework and I'm, I'm just really excited. The kids are in bed. I just had some dinner. I realized that I hadn't eaten since uh, a quarter to 11 because that's when I ate uh, with Miranda at preschool. And then I forgot to have a snack and then I went to the dog course. And then when I came home and I was gonna read to the kids, I was like, wait, there's probably a reason why I'm so hungry. And then I realized, anyway, yes, Sushi, what's the matter? Smush. You want to be in the vlog? You're in the vlog now. Anyway, I just had some dinner. I'm watching a Super Carlton Brothers video and now I'm going to have some chips and some cola. I'm not going to have a sippy cup, but yeah. Um, and I am going to work on my last exam for university because on Monday I start working and so I will stop studying because I can't do both at the same time. And uh, it's kind of bittersweet because it's going to be a good feeling to not have like studying hanging over my head always because that's kind of what happens you always feel like you should be studying no matter what else you're doing um but also i'm gonna miss it so yeah anyway <laughs> i thought the miranda or that that Ginny would be exhausted after the course but she just wants to play now anyway i'm gonna end the video here please like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more of our family videos and we will see you when we see you and thank you for watching today Hello. oh also miranda got her first little hair tie today her fur isn't quite long enough to actually do this but i just thought it was too cute not to try it anyway good night goodbye also, also, here are the boots that I chose, and at least so far, they are awesome.